Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this morning's celebration of the liturgy. We are an emergent church practicing an ancient faith in new ways, a church of inclusivity where all are welcome. Today is the second Sunday of Easter. After his crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples to comfort them and proclaim to them the good news of his victory over death. However, one of the disciples, Thomas, was not present for this visitation. Thomas doubted and wanted physical proof of the risen Lord. Jesus, knowing Thomas's human frailty, accommodated Thomas, but he reminded him that, blessed are those who have not seen, yet still believe. Please stand as we sing our gathering song, Alleluia, Alleluia, let the holy anthem rise.
trust your Son, O God of glory. You are making all things new. Make this new commandment so flaw, the every foundation of our lives, so that loving you and loving one another as Christ loved us, may we show that your disciples of Jesus brought new birth by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our brother, who lives and reigns you, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they shared everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that gives witness, and the Spirit is true. Hear what the Spirit says to the church. Thanks. Thanks. have not seen and 
have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, but that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. It's all right because in Jesus we abide. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When we abide with Jesus, no worries, no distractions. We will be happier people on this earth. We have to live with Jesus. We have to accept the faith of God. God, Heavenly Father, gave faith, given faith to Jesus. Jesus is sharing with us today after his resurrection. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, the Lord. Praise, the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We honor your holy name, Jesus. We honor your holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 17 says there, but I will restore you to good health and heal all your wounds. Heal all your wounds, which means inner wounds of each and every one. That's what Jesus did. Jesus came and appeared to the disciples. When they were alone in the room, they were locked and they were having out of they were having a lot of fear in, in, in themselves. They could not come out. They could not want to show their faces to anyone because after death of Jesus, they lost all the powers. But when Jesus resurrected and came to them and strengthened them with power of the Holy Spirit and showing them, I am the Lord. I am the Jesus. I'm coming to you. I'm coming and giving you power. I'm breathing over you the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit will make you stronger stronger in your faith that with that faith you should go to the, all the nations and preach the good news so we need we need to receive the power of the holy spirit through jesus christ so as the disciples received the power of the holy spirit same way today we should receive in order to receive that the faith that the holy spirit we have to be in the presence of the lord Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 When we are with Jesus, when we are in the presence of the Lord, God will take care of us everything. We need not to worry about ourselves. We need not to worry about our family and family relationships. And we need not to bother about our, our sons and daughters. God will take care of everything. God will heal all our problems. God will heal all our inner problems and external problems and all the problems. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we shall sing a small song. If you can join with me. It, it goes like this. Bless us Lord with your presence. 
Bless us, Lord, with your peace. Bless us, Lord, with your love. Bless us, Lord, with your faith. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. Bless us, Lord, with your peace. Bless us, Lord, with your love. Bless us, Lord, with your faith. Repeat after me. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. Bless us, Lord, with your peace. Bless us, Lord, with your love. Bless us, Lord, with your faith. I want to live in your presence. I want to live in your life. I want to know your glory, Lord. I want to know your love. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. Bless us, Lord, with your peace. Bless us, Lord, with your love. Bless us, Lord, with your faith. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 When God is going to bless us, with his presence, with his peace, with his love, with his faith, we will be more stronger in this world. This world brings us a lot of distractions in our life. This world gives us a lot of difficulties, problems. But we will be still strong when we are with Christ, when we are with God. So in order to receive God's power within us, we have to remain in the presence of the Lord. Remain in the presence of the Lord and we need to pray every day, every minute possible. But it is not possible to pray every minute. But at least we have to pray when we get up, when we wake up from the bed, just we need to pray in the presence of the Lord and ask, Lord, today I need your guidance. I need your wisdom. I need your healing touch. Wherever I, wherever I go, I need your presence with me, Lord. So that whatever I'm going to do, you are going to do through me. So I, I will not have any kind of worries, problems from anyone. So I will be in your serenity. With your peace, I share your peace with all your brothers and sisters, all your people. So in order to receive the, the power of the Holy Spirit, we need to be in the presence of the Lord. Like, she, like the disciples. Like the disciples, we have, to, we have to live with the Lord. In order to increase our faith, in God's, increase our God's faith within us, we have, to be, we have to be very positively, we have to think, first of all. If we don't have the positive attitude within us, we can't have God's faith within us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In order to increase God's faith within us, we have to be very positively, we have to think. When we think positively only, everything happens. When, when we think positively only, we, have, we can do more good things uh, with, with our family, neighbors, and with everyone, my dear brothers and sisters. This positive attitude stands over up and down. Bitterness becomes uh, sweeter and sadness becomes joy and it leads us from darkness of sin to the greater glory of God's spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 says there, I am the Lord who is going to heal you. I am the Lord who is going to heal you and strengthen you. I am going to be with you forever. As Jesus, as God promised, God promised and fulfilled through Jesus Christ. Jesus came this on the earth and did ministry 
and healing ministry on behalf of Heavenly Father and resurrected and went back to the Heavenly Father and uh, Heavenly Father given power to the Jesus to share Holy Spirit with uh, everyone. So that the Holy Spirit given to the apostles, that the Holy Spirit is handed over from the apostles to the churches, from the church leaders, uh, bishops and uh, priests, uh, deacons and uh, lay clergy members and uh, all those who are working with the church, those powers are handed over down to each and every one, my dear brothers and sisters. So we need to become the holy people on this year. We, in order to become a holier, we have to be with the Lord. We have to remain in the presence of the Lord and pray more and more, my dear brothers and sisters. In the first reading, we see Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, uh, 30 to 35, there, there we find the first community of the believers, first community of the members, they lived with one heart and mind. And no one claimed that anything of their possessions and their own. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the first community, brothers and sisters, all those who were working with the churches and remaining in the churches and uh, uh, preaching the word of God, they did not have any kind of a differences between them. No discrimination, no color discrimination, nothing. There was nothing. Everything was under the control of the Heavenly Father and uh, His Holy Presence. So, community, first community of the brothers and sisters, they lived together, they ate together, they shared together. They did not have anything, their own possessions. Even they had a lot of possessions, they used to sell and share with all the people. How could it happen all this? Only happen because of the presence of the God. They experienced the presence of God in their community, in their heart, in their life, in their church. They could do all these sharings with one another. Today, are we able to we are able to share the same way. Saint Matthew is the place to share uh, our love with everyone. It it became possible through Bishop Peter. Bishop Peter uh, brought uh, Bishop Peter blessed with the great power of the Spirit. So, with the Spirit of God, Bishop moved from uh, many years back built the church and built many other churches all around the world, not only in the USA, but all over the world, reached to Bishop Peter. How could possible this? Only could pos possible only through the Spirit of God and uh, with the God's presence. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I see today's uh, first reading, I remember this. Because the first community of brothers and sisters, they live very happily. That the happiness I see today in the church of St. Matthew and uh, ECC, Economical Catholic Communion. So, Bishop Peter was, Bishop Peter is filled with the Spirit of God. That the Spirit is sharing with one another, like just like apostles. So, uh, apostles share their faith, share their love, share their peace with one another and with all the people. They did not stick one place. They, they were not in one place. They traveled to different places. So we, in the gospel we see today, in the gospel, John chapter 20, verses 25, then we find, we have, the, all the disciples said, we have seen the Lord, but he said to them, uh, Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark and the nails in the hands and put my finger in the nails marks and put my hands at his side, I will not believe. I will not believe. That's what uh, Thomas said. Doubting. That's why Thomas is called other name. He said doubting Thomas. Doubting Thomas. So he doubted. So in order to heal his inner feelings, uh, Holy uh, increased uh, Thomas' faith. Jesus came back again. Jesus did not want to lose anyone from his salvation. 
He wants to save everyone. So there were 12 apostles. When one missed, uh, Jesus did worry. God the Father did worry about missed one, not about the 11 members. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, to, today, Saint, uh, today we remember also St. Thomas. St. Thomas the Apostle, he traveled uh, from, uh, he traveled to India. He traveled to India and lived in India and died in India. How could become possible this? Because he wants to, uh, he wants to share the good news to the, all the nations. Not only particular society, not only particular place, but he traveled from one place, one country to another country and share the good news to the, all the people. When he traveled to India, oh, almost all India, in India communities were Hindus, Hindu religions, all the Brahmins and Hindu religions. But when St. Thomas landed there, he, he wants to show the God's power. God's power, God of healing, God of making miracles. So God wants, uh, St. Thomas wants to show the power of God in the Hindu community in India. So um, he prayed to God, Heavenly Father, to do the great miracle uh, in the presence of the Hindu brothers and sisters. So Hindu brothers and sisters, they used to offer the offerings to the uh, sun God. They worship sun god. So they were offering offerings to the sun god. They, in the part of their rituals, they offer water. Water in the hand. They take with the hand and throw up the water to the uh, air and offering to the sun god uh, all their prayers. But St. Thomas said to them, uh, your prayers uh, were not accepted by God because you are not, you are not uh, uh, really offering. But when they threw up the waters, usually when we throw the waters up, will it fall down or will it stay in the air? What do you think? What do you think? It will fall down because the you know, gravity power is down on the on the ground, so automatically it falls down. But when Saint Thomas took the water in his hands and threw up, it would not fall down. It stayed in the air. That was the great miracle St. Thomas did in the Brahmin's Hindu religion community. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As it is, is it considered as a miracle? Yes. yes, it is a great miracle. When all the community brothers and sisters, they saw this, immediately they trusted in God. And uh, from the Hinduism, Hindu religion to um, converted into Christianity more than 3,000 at once. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Since uh, we remember in the gospel St. Thomas, I brought in the miracle of uh, St. Thomas. So my dear brothers and sisters, today we all need to be in the presence of the Lord and we have to receive the God's power. In order to receive God's power within us, just like apostles, we have to be with the Lord. All the disciples were living with Jesus and led Lord from the Jesus and received the power from the Jesus. So we have to be in the presence of the Jesus. We have to be in the presence of the Lord so that we can also do great miracles just like uh, all the apostles did, my dear brothers and sisters. So you know, finally, we all stand up and pray together so that God is going to do great miracles within our, all our lives. St stand up all together and uh, we shall sing just uh, same way what we sang before. Bless us Lord with your presence all together and we pray, we do offer all our offerings to the Heavenly Father. Bless us Lord with your presence, bless us Lord with your peace, bless us Lord with your love, bless us Lord with your faith, again, 
Bless us, Lord, with your presence. Bless us, Lord, with your peace. Bless us, Lord, with your love. Bless us, Lord, with your faith. I want to live in your presence. I want to see you face to face I wanna dream that the land that you have I wanna see your glory bless us Lord with your presence bless us Lord with your peace bless us Lord with your love, bless us, Lord, with your faith. Jesus, you said, all those who believe in me, they will be saved. All those are blessed, we have not seen yet believe, and you are so close to us. We sometimes doubt your presence and refuse to believe unless we touch and see, just like St. Thomas. Strengthen our faith that you are with us always as the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Is, risen, risen Savior, hear us. 
that the church called together from all the peoples of the world may be strengthened and encouraged to preserve in the faith of the risen Christ. We pray. Risen Christ. Risen Savior, hear us. Yes. For all who long to see a new heaven and a new earth, that God may open the door of faith to people of all nations and welcome them into the new Jerusalem, we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. That those who are persecuted because of a conscious color or creed may find strength and courage to endure, we pray. Risen Savior, hear us for the healing of all who are suffering in any kind of illness or pain. May we keep Bishop Peter, Dr. Ali, Mother Diane, Deacon Jay, Irene Bronson, Cindy McArdle, and Angelo Gallo in our prayers. For this we pray. For those who have been called home before us may rejoice, may rejoice forever in the new and eternal Jerusalem where death is no more, we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. That everyone of this community of faith would be recognized by others as disciples of Jesus because of our love for one another, we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. That the one who raised Christ from the dead will now hear our own personal intentions now offered aloud or in silence. I lift up my dear friend Tom Wilson, a uh, seven-time cancer survivor who has cancer again. Um, we just lift him up, Lord. We pray for your will. We ask for healing. In your most holy name we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. Uh, Father Kalash from Poland has requested a prayer for a member of his community who is in the hospital with COVID. Uh, his name is Matthew. We pray. Risen Savior, hear us. For my aunt twin cousins, Lori, Zachary, and Olivia, who are suffering uh, greatly from the COVID she said. Risen Savior, hear us. I'd like to also turn to my dear cousin, Caroline, who just found out she had cancer, and also especially for her mother, who was part of tortured by what her daughter has been doing. Risen Savior, hear us. For all these and all the intentions in the stillness of our hearts, we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. God, whose mercy is everlasting, you have given Christ the power of our death. Accept your church praise and receive all our prayers in the Savior's name, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Loving God acts of these gifts now offer and chew, taken from the earth and transformed by the human hands into bread and wine for this table. May these gifts be transformed by your Holy Spirit into the presence of Christ. May those of us who receive these gifts be transformed into this image. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your heart. God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks to your Jesus Christ, our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season. When Christ became our Paschal sacrifice, in him a new age has dawned. The long reign of death is ended. A broken world has been renewed, and we are once again made whole. The joy of the resurrection renews the, all the world, while the choirs of the heavens Sing forever to your glory. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, ere death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave to his disciples and said, Take this soul of you and eat it. This is my party, which will be given up for you. When the supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, there is all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. thanks and praise together with Francis, the Bishop of Rome, a sign of the worldwide Catholic tradition, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. We pray for those who are present here and all those whose lives bring hope to this world. Lord of the living and the dead, awaken to the untying light of pardon and peace. Those who have fallen asleep in faith and those who have died alone, unloved and Unmoan. Gather them all into communion with Mary, the Mother of God, and with all your saints. 
Then at last will all creation be one and all divisions healed. And we shall join in singing your praise through your son, Jesus Christ. her children comfort comfort us and grant us peace in your day in your mercy deliver us from every evil and protect us from all fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior and brother Jesus Christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For most of you here, I am sure that you know the call to the altar, but for anyone that has been with us for the first time, we recognize that um, the sacrament is not ours, but the Lord's. So if you would like to partake in this feast, please allow yourself to. Um, but we do ask that you stay in your seat and a deacon will bring you communion.
you see the body of Christ.
Let us pray. Loving God, may the Eucharist we have shared make us more one with the risen Christ and with one another. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I imagine we might have a few announcements today. And we'll start with Jenny. Jenny, if you could come up to the podium. Well, I want to thank everybody who's been um, contributing to our soft goods linen drive. Um, we will be collecting through Sunday, uh, May 25th. Uh, we're at about 2,000 pounds right now. So we only have about 500 pounds more to go to reach our goal. So again, bring them in, they go into the church lobby. With that being said, on May the 1st, it's a Saturday, we will be delivering everything to a location in Fountain Valley. So I am asking for people who have pickup trucks or vans, if you can help us, we will meet at the church here on Saturday at 10 o'clock. And we'll also need some hands and some people to help put them into the vehicles. Um, there'll be treats for people who show up as well. So I want to thank everybody who's already contributed and for our, for our goal because it really helps the church. Thank you. Before we go into the rest of our announcements, first I'd just like to thank our wonderful choir. And the, the young lady sitting in the back, that's Paul's mother. She was there to make sure they stayed on tune. She did a good job. And I'd like to thank all of you for coming and worshiping with us. I can't tell you how great it, it makes the clergy and everybody feel when we can all gather together. So God bless you all. Definitely. And I'd also like to um, just remind everybody that um, you can give while you're here or you can give on our website at www.saint-matthew.org. Just go to the giving tab and follow the easy instructions. And please help us to continue on our ministry. We, we didn't join the bandwagon. As you all know, Bishop Peter is the bandwagon for all are welcome. Thank you. And while you're on our website, you want to make sure that you check out our church events. Um, and also follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, this week we do have a parish council meeting, so if you'd like to know a little bit of what's behind the scenes of what's going on in the church, um, please join the parish council meeting. Anyone can join. It's 7 p.m. on Tuesday, so um, if you need that information, uh, email me and I'll send you over the Zoom information. Um, also, we have Bible study on Monday nights with Martha. Oh, not this week, I'm being told. No, next week, sorry. Next week, we will start back up on Bible study. Um, rosary is back in the church. So if you would like to pray the rosary, you can either come to the church, you can join Zoom, or you can uh, live stream it on Facebook. Um, and we also have Sunshine Club. Okay, yeah, so we do have Sunshine Club every Saturday, and it's absolutely adorable. So bring your kids, bring your grandkids, bring yourself, if you're young at heart, to see the Sunshine Club on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Um, we do continue our food drive. I cannot say how proud I am of this little church and how much food we uh, gather every week, two weeks. Um, we have sent over carloads of food to WSWA. So please continue to bring your food donations for those in need. And uh, lastly, well, no, there's one more after this, but um, the community life um, and fundraising is uh, uh, selling these stickers. So if you want to advertise uh, St. Matthew's on your car, um, we're selling them for $5. So um, if you are a lover of St. Matthew's and you don't mind putting a sticker on your car, buy a sticker from me or from Jenny and we will be happy to donate that $5 to the church. And last one is for you. And just a reminder, rosaries at 515, for those of you that may not know, um, be here at 5 o'clock if you want to do it in person or, or just Zoom in or Facebook stream us um, at 515. And I just want to remind everybody that this Sunday is also Divine Chaplet Sunday. If you're not sure what that is, look up St. Faustina um, and pray the Divine Chaplet. It's a beautiful prayer. Today is the, a, a great day to pray it. And if we all say it in prayer, I think it will do a lot of good, not only for our little community, but for the world at large. Thank you. 
We are a small but mighty church with lots of things to do. So please uh, make sure that you uh, um, join any of our events during the week. And with that, um, for all of us, uh, go out uh, like the disciple uh, Tom and Thomas and make sure that you go in peace and love to serve the Lord and make sure you proclaim it um, with all your might. This Mass has ended. I just wanted to say that I've known Father Chinapa for many years, but I've never heard him speak quite like he did today. What a man of the spirit. Thank you, Father.